What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test more kitchen gadgets. Let's see what I got today. Also a long time ago I promised you that I'm going to open up a gun channel so links in description go subscribe gonna be posting there a lot more at least once a week maybe more than that the reason why I'm gonna have to open up another gun channel because if I post gun videos on this channel it might ruin and demonetize the whole channel so I don't want to take this risk so please go subscribe we just need 25,000 more subscribers to hit 50,000 so go and subscribe all right let's get to it for this gadget it's stayed from Japan, it makes scrambled boiled eggs. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Let's see how it works. We'll do a little unboxing over here. Wow, that package is really good. I don't think it's in English, so we'll figure it out without the instructions. Pretty sure this somehow need to go in in here. Yep, just like that. And then we're going to spin it like that. But first of all, let's put an egg in there. It opens like that and looks like we untwist it. Oh, cool. That way it can fit different type of eggs and it will sit there firmly. Okay, stick an egg in there. Boom. And then we're going to screw this thing on and tighten it all up. Oh, cool. That's tight. Close this back up in case it's explode and then we're gonna go like this I'm pretty sure it says for about two minutes whoa it moves really really fast right here there is some picture instruction if you put flashlight on it it will look like this and if it's not ready yet it will look like this all right Open it up, take off the egg, let's see if it works. And then we're going to boil them and let's see what happens. For these two gadget, I got jar openers, one of these and one huge one like that. Let's see what they're all about. Butter is included, probably not. Oh wow, it does, it does include butter. What's happening? Oh, this part is opening, cool. I'm so confused how it works. What's happening? I should read directions. So, I guess you put it on like this, and then open a jar, and then this will come together. It's kind of sleeping, so maybe if I hold this part, there you go, it opened it. I have here three different type of jars, three different lids. Hopefully it will work with all of them. This one have a little plastic, of course, take off the plastic so it has the grip. You see how this right here doesn't fit, so all you have to do is press open. You see it goes out. And then hold it like this, push it together. And then let's just see what happens. Oh wow, it's doing something. It's time to twist. Whoa! Do you see that pop? Okay, release the... I press the release and it's supposed to release this, open all the way. Boom. Wow, look at that. It opened it so easy. Let's try do a medium size of jar. Let's try different size of jar. Get and tighten together and then you just wait till these things gets together and these things gets together and then it will open it. Wow, this thing is the coolest thing ever. Oh yeah, it's pretty tight. Whoa, opened it easily. Release the uh, lid. Now I can open it, boom, it's open. Now I press the release the lid, so this goes open. And now let's start this kind of square jar. Open it. You see I'm pushing these things together. And that's it. And these two will get together and open the jar. 
this thing actually works so well. Let me show you closer. It's already opened it. That's so cool. Release it and for it to stop spinning, all you have to do is press it lightly so it's not pushed in and it will stop. This is how this gadget works. You press it right here, lift it up, it locks in. Then this one, if you spin it this way, it says opens and then you tighten it. We're gonna open it, put the jar in the middle and then we're going to tighten it. Then we're going to release it and close it all the way down. I look. Then all we have to do is just press this. It got tightened and then it opened. Did you hear that pop? Now we can open this part. Then we're going to release that. Boom. And that's open. Pretty awesome actually. I like this opener. Makes it super cool and very easy and fast. The only problem is it's a little bit too big. What you doing, Hugo? You got a bone over here or some? Good boy, good boy. I might have overcooked them a little bit, but look at that. We got inside of it a golden eggs. I might have to do this again because I think I really did overcook this egg, but that looks so cool. It's so weird. It's yellow. If you cut it inside of it, you see there is no yolk. It's just golden egg. Let's see if it's going to turn out a little better than this one. This one turned out really good. I should probably run it under the cold water a little bit longer. And boom, we got ourselves scrambled boiled egg. Let me cut it in half and just show it to you what happened. You see, there is no yolk. How cool is that? And of course we gotta do a taste test. Mmm, that's so weird. You see, it's all golden. Let's see if Luke and Hugo likes it. I'm gonna split it in half. See it? Here. Here. They like it too. Look, thumbs up. Thumbs up. I don't have any more egg. Why are you jumping on me? They really liked it. Ah! For this gadget, this is a beer, aerator, or foam, or whatever you want to call it. Boom. Let's open it up. I'm not sure what... Ooh. Did I break it? Oh. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. You gotta press it all the way and it's like shoots it. If I pour it slowly to the side, it's not forming that much. Boom, and you see, there's not that much foam in there. And whoa, look at that. It foamed up pretty good. And once again, that's so cool. I kind of like that. If you really like drinking beer with the foam in it, that's actually good idea because after a while the foam will settle so that way you can just heat it again and it'll make more foam super cool but super weird at the same time whoa i did too much foam now definitely does what it intended to do for this gadget i got here taco toaster boom Looks like this, whatever will happen, it opens like that. You see, you can grab it by this one and open it up. And then we're going to get the small tortillas, is that what they call? And put them in, like that. This one as well. Put it over and put it in. Looks good, something like that. So this is actually sounds like a timer and I think it's, yep, it feels hot. Okay, now let's take it out. Boom, look at that. One, and there's two. Okay, let's see. Open this up. Oh, it's a little bit hot, so I gotta be careful. But wow, look at that. There you go. There's a taco shell out of a taco bread. Awesome, love it. And then I also have this taco holders. You can put them like this, boom. One thing for sure, this one's a lot more flexible and it still has crunch on them versus this ones. You see, they always break on me, especially when I bite into it. I bet that you don't even know that there is a special taco spoons that you can fill up your tacos with. Boom, look at that, perfect. Get that stuff, the meat, put it in your taco. Beautiful, maybe a little bit more meat. Awesome. There you go, taco spoon. Of course, we're gonna have to do a taste test. 
Wow, it tastes a little crunchy and if I want to make it more crunchy all I have to do is just cook it longer in the toaster. Definitely next time making tacos I'm going to use my taco toaster. For this gadget we will need a fryer and this is the gadget. This is what it looks like. Again we will need one of these small tortillas and close it together. Maybe a little bit to this side. Boom. Look at that. And then we're going to fry it up. On the description it says I need to preheat it to 370 degrees the fryer. I don't really know how to use the fryer. This is my first time. So I gotta be super careful. Okay, let's stick this thing in there. There you go. Kinda don't fit all the way so I should have put more oil. Or I can just flip it later. So maybe I should close it. Ooh. My fryer is broken. Okay, looks like it's changing the color really well. Maybe a little bit longer and it's done. Okay, let's see how it did. Open it up. Wow, this is awesome. You can stick it in here, fill it up with uh, meat and stuff and then I'm gonna try to eat it. Okay guys, there goes nothing. Here's my taco. Let's see what it tastes like. This is delicious. Probably overcooked it a little bit, but wow, this is tastes good. For this gadget, it's some kind of beer former as well, but it's supposed to be for the can. You stick it on a can, looks like any kind of can because it just slides in on a can. But for some reason, it's just not locking in well on top right here. So, oh well. Let's see if it's going to work anyway. It kind of works, I just have to hold it with two of my hands. I guess if you don't press it, it doesn't form like this. And if I press it, you see it generates foam. Pretty weird. <laughs> Very weird invention. What do you guys think? Alright, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.